Hello, my friend and friends. Today's video is a little bit different because it's a conversation that I had with Clark Sell. You might not know his name, but I definitely would encourage you to give it a listen. Uh, and this is actually a condensed or shortened highlight version of the conversation we had, uh, where it sort of focuses more on our front end development conversations we were having, since that's very relevant to this channel. Uh, so we're gonna start things off with the current state of front end development with the sort of fast pace of change and how do you actually know how good you are at front-end development and, and things like that. But Clark is the person who's behind that conference. He puts on the event twice a year uh, in two different locations. So the entire interview, if you'd like to listen to that, is on my second channel. It is linked in the description below, where we talk about why he even started a conference, the difference between online events and in-person events, and why in-person events are kind of important, uh, how you can find your tribe, as well as things like finding your just work-life balance in general, and getting into some other just general discussions, also like about the doubts about, you know, how do you know what you're doing is the right thing and a whole bunch of stuff. Clark's a really awesome guy. It was a really fun conversation. So if you just want the front end stuff, stay here. If you'd like the longer version of it, you can check the link in the description. And yeah, sorry for the long intro there, but let's jump right now into the current state of front end development with how fast everything is always changing. I I'm curious, you said you're still working and doing lots of, you know, client work in that. How up to date are you with just front end development in general? Oh, I don't know. How, how should I answer that question? I don't know. I feel like you're you, setting me up for I, failure. <laughs> no, not at all. Not at all. I'm, I'm genuinely, I'm genuinely curious. I like talk because how's this? Most people I, I talk with um, are just like bigger CSS nerds than I am. <laughs> so it's, I'm curious. Just well, I mean, not, not, I guess not necessarily. Okay, actually, we'll change the question a little no, bit. No, what do you think? Of, no, 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 we will. And we'll come back to that a little bit. We'll come back to that a little bit. What do you think about the current state of front end development? Oh, so I'm the guy who uh, started as a, a backend engineer, became architect, did kind of big architectural design, whatnot, understood front end, it could make front end, but front end looked like ass. Um, I have meandered through the realm of everything web for so many years that now based upon kind of our company size and what we have, we're kind of the full stack, which I hate those words, but I live in both the client side, AKA the browser and the API and the backend and all that. I have done more front end work in the last four to five years than I probably did, did in the previous uh, 10. Um, so, um, I historically, I feel like I've only ever been in the middle of the pack of said like knowledge. Um, and I, I, I struggle with keeping up just cause it just feels like it's never ending moving fast. Of course, that's some core principles are always the same, um, and kind of don't really change, but, um, Man, I just, I'm looking at this project that we have coming up and it's a e-commerce project and, you know, front end will be in Svelte kit and back end is, nice. um, it'll be node or bun. I don't know, one of the two, um, some JavaScript API most likely. And there's a whole litany of services and integrations and things to write and Stripe. I mean, the project I'm trying to finish up right now is adding a, uh, stripe into an existing customer's uh, website that they do, whatever they do. And then we have our own platform, which is, and it's all the things that I want it to be. And yet um, I can't even keep up with trying to get to the latest of the things I want to get it to. So I don't know if that answers the question other than, yeah, man, we're trying. Like I, I try all the time. I feel like a forever learner and uh, never an expert. And I lean on, you know, I lean on folks like you, like, all right, you've teach me CSS. Like that's my, that's my biggest weakness. And then I just look at the stack of things that I, I am sucked into. Granted we need help. Um, and it's like, all right, well, we're going to use Tailwind on this because it checks the boxes. Like we can be productive and fast and whatnot. And we're going to use this over here because it makes sense given the 
engineering team or the talent that's there or what they need to do. And some things, some decisions I like and some I don't. I'm like you said, I find like the pace of things these days seems like, you it's know, ridiculous. We grew up in the web, in a sense, when the web was a simpler time, it was harder to do some stuff, a lot of things, but at least there was sort of like, it didn't change. So if you figured it out, then you could keep doing that for a while. <laughs> Whereas now it seems like you figure it out and then all of a sudden there's six other better ways of doing it. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I don't even know how to like measure how good you are at something. Mm. Like, I, I don't know. Like how, how do you know how, how competent you are in CSS? Like what's the, what's the litany I saw, you know, okay. You can, you can make up, a form look good and you can do all this. And then you see people that are, you know, particle effects running around chasing one another, this and that. And you're like, I have absolutely no idea how you did any of that. And I feel like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> right? I mean, I look at, I look at some of the stuff you can do in the web. I'm just, I'm like, I'm amazed. I'm amazed mm -hmm. at the, at what's there. And then you just, you have to back up and you have to go, okay, well, what's, What's my sweet spot? How do I yeah. how do I go find the answer? And, and try not to feel completely ashamed of the lack of skill that you have. But um, I mean, it's man. There's just a lot of there's a lot of things. Uh, there's a lot of things going on. There's a lot yeah. of things you can you can do. I think it's hard for beginners too when they're seeing the stuff people are putting out. And just like all of the different things and it looks overwhelming. And for, I always try and tell people like, you don't need to know how to do that. Like you probably don't. Um, or even like people ask me for like, what's like, I need, can you put your, like make a roadmap of all your videos to learn CSS? I'm like, well, I can give you the first 15 things <laughs> after that. I, it re, like, it depends. It depends yeah. everything. And I hate, yeah. I mean, it's a answer, terrible answer. It's a terrible answer, but it's the same answer for yeah. everything. <laughs> I think that is as soon as there's some complexity in it. Um, but I think it's important, like, you know, you're saying like, you're looking at that sort of comparing what you know to other stuff. And I think it's the natural thing that people do, but at the same time, we have to be careful not to do that. Cause like, I, I literally spend my entire day is writing CSS and learning about it and reading right. the new things. And I still, I'm not on top of all the new stuff that's coming out and I see other people that are creating stuff and I'm just like, that's amazing. And there we have it for this condensed version. Again, if you enjoyed that conversation and you'd like the full version, it is linked down in the description below. And with that, I would really like to thank Clark for having that conversation with me, as well as you for listening to this uh, bonus video for the week. And of course, until next time, don't forget to make your corner of the internet just a little bit more awesome.